This is Broke Pen, my free to play account. In five weeks, I've unlocked 26 new brawlers, but in order to get more, I need credits. And this resource is a major bottleneck. So in order to remedy this, I need to do these two things. First, I have to get to 9,900 trophies. And second, I need to get multiple brawlers to bronze three in their masteries. And here's how I did it. On the first day of week six, my goal was to get Bo, Bo, and Brock to rank 20. After having a quick look at my quest, I hopped on a Bo on Heist. My teammates today were Lionel and Exotic. And Lionel on the Colt is an absolute madman. Well, Exotic, well, we know how he is. While I was working to get my super to rush the safe, my teammates had other plans. They just kept repeatedly battering both opponents and the safe and I barely got to use most of my rushes. In my second game, I faced a hypercharged spike, but honestly, our team faced no issues here. In the third, it was a purple button Paulette. The outcome was the same. A couple of games in, I got my bull to bronze too. And then in my 500 trophy game on bull, I had to face another hypercharged Colette. But my teammates made quick work of this as well. Next, I took Bo into Flaring Phoenix, and the first game was already a really difficult one. After winning the first round, Exotic died as per usual, and it was up to me and Lionel to finish off the round somehow. But Lionel was also buried. I did manage to get my first kill onto the opposing Larry, and then I was ambushed and knocked back by the M's. But somehow I was able to survive, and she dropped. Then it was a mano a mano against the Colt, and somehow I managed to get him to fall on my mines. While my 400 trophy game was a baptism by fire, the other games weren't as bad. And I even got my account to 9,200 trophies, and Bo achieved Bronze Mastery as well. In my 500 trophy game, I did absolutely nothing, and my teammates carried me to a 50 win streak, which I haven't had for ages at this point. Next, I took Brock and immediately upgraded him to Power 5, since I felt like I might need it. Encirclement is a pretty annoying map right now with all of its walls and since the twins exist. It's gonna be really hard to play this one. Nonetheless, we had our own Larry in Exotic, and Lionel was a tour de force on his Colt, and he even got this really stylish trick shot too. My 400 trophy Brock game also went swimmingly, and in my 9300 trophy game, we faced a hypercharged Colette, Larry, and a Dynamite, and Lionel and Exotic just ran it down, and we secured the dub in half a minute. After pushing for a while, I got to my 500 trophy game, and we faced a Larry along with double assassin. So I was a little worried if I'm being honest, but the games were also rather simple as Lionel just obliterated them along with Exotic. I received a lot of rewards today, but most importantly, I got 100 credits, which goes towards unlocking Piper. Today is an important day and one where I'm trying to get to a major goal for the week, 9,900 trophies. First off, I took Jesse in a gold arm gold. But before that, if you love this sort of content and want early access to it, become a channel member today as it will help me a lot in terms of producing more content such as this for you. And immediately I upgraded her to power 5 since this map isn't the best for her. Facing an Edgar is never simple, but if you're not 100% careful, Edgar can sneak up on you like he did with Hector. And then <laughs> he did with me in another round. Though, Exotic picked up the trade, and the opposing Larry wiped my team off the map and we lost our 62 win streak. With that debilitating loss, we swapped over to Brawl Ball hoping that would give us some luck, and honestly, it did. I was able to get Jesse to Bronze 1 and finish her quests as well. Next, I brought out the M's and upgraded her to Power 5. Most games of the Preppy Mummy were straightforward as our team mostly kept running it down and finished the bulk of them in under 40 seconds. And soon, I was at my 9,500 trophy game. We faced some sharpshooters in RT and Bell. They did a stellar job of keeping us at bay but we were inevitable, and so was this dub. Next, I needed to start working on my other goal for the week, Bronze 3 Masteries, and the Mastery Madness from the Brawl Together event works perfectly with this. I swapped over to Dynamite and upgraded him to Power 8, and he even copped the gadget gear, so I have an additional lethality in my arsenal. Right off the bat, I faced a terrifying comp in Mortis, BB, and Primo, so it's reasonable to assume that I was anxious and that feeling was warranted. I could barely manage myself against the Mortis rushing me, and the Primo jumping right on top of me. But after conceding a goal, I started feeling myself on the mic, and with a team wipe, we managed to get a goal and capture the dub. After a couple more wins, I was at my bronze 3 game, and I didn't do all that much in this one. But I did get a double stun, which paved the way for our eventual victory. Colt was next on the block, and the games were unsurprisingly simple, and I managed to get him to bronze 3 as well. 
I opted for the twins next and the 500 trophy game had us face an Edgar, Larry and Mortis, which was my worst nightmare, but luckily Mortis was a typical random and that was basically a free win. A few moments later, I stamped Bronze 3 on my Larry and Lori mastery card as well. Next, it was time for the monkey to make his stand and sometimes I cook and other times I fail at him. And at the start of the push, I honestly don't know what I was doing. I'd love to say that I was that guy on Miko, but it was just Hector consistently carrying us on his Cordelius. Exotic is probably gonna be like, OMG Panda, why don't you show me carrying you? It's because of this Exotic. I don't know what you did there. Anyway, we reset and went back in and this time we bamboozled the opponent and effectively got me to bronze three on Miko. To cap off this long day, I took Penny for my 9,900 trophy game and Exotic finally cooked in this one and I managed to hit my first major goal of the week. This entire day was leading up to the trophy road rewards and I got 920 credits for getting to 9,900 which allowed me to unlock both Piper and Rico in Brawl Stars. Since it's the last day of the Mastery Madness, I need to start hustling on these Bronze 3 pushes and I decided I wanted to get 4 more Brawlers to that milestone. Since the map was safe zone, I revved up my engines with Chuck. The games were child's play, especially once I got my poles down and my teammates Hector and Exotic kept holding their position on the map. In my 550 trophy game, we faced a hypercharged Colette and a Jesse as well and this was a difficult comp to face as once the Colette is able to hypercharge for us to save, it's game over. But my team was able to help me get set up on the save and Exotic's turret did so much work in this one which led to another dub. My final game with Chuck was a high stakes one. If I won this, I get to bronze 3, 600 trophies and 10.1k overall trophy and anticlimactically, it was uh, quite the spectacle. We won it 100 0. Next, I took my main man Brock out and upgraded him to power 7. Since Safe Zone was going pretty great, we continued on in this map and strung together a series of wins, but then we faced a nightmare comp. With no free wall break on hand, we were guaranteed to get pushed back to our spawn against this Larry, and honestly, we never really recovered after losing control. The Larry kept using his gadget to heal up Lori, and we didn't have the damage output to take out the enemies here. Swapping a Brawl Ball was a great idea, and we started getting some dubs, and in my Bronze 3 game, I just kept chaining my supers and even had a 7-0 KD as well. The Mortician was my next choice and right off the bat, I was cooking with the Mortis and kept chaining my bats being an absolute nightmare for the enemy Frank. But I also cooked nothing sometimes as well and in my Bronze 3 game, I was in the zone and with my teammates, we managed to disrupt this goal scoring chance. I kept chaining my bats but without my star power, I didn't gain back as much HP as I could have and despite my best efforts, we kept missing a goal till Hector and I combo blitzed them. With that dub, I managed to get more to Bronze 3 and then I moved on to my next target, Frank. I'm usually a terrible Frank player, but today I was doing pretty great. I had some great stuns and I even got this cheeky double kill with my Frank gadget, which was amazing. On my final game of the day, we had a difficult composition that we were up against, which consisted of a Larry and a hypercharged Leon, but I bamboozled that invisible kid and that let me just walk the ball into the goal. Somehow in the next interaction with my gadget, I found an invisible Leon on and a kid too which was hilarious and to cap it off Lionel even got this stylish trick shot too I finished my second major goal of the week and surely that deserves a sub I managed to get a cold star power from the legendary star drop for getting to 10k trophies today which was a cherry on top the last two days have been long pushes so I decided to take day 39 pretty slow since I had a 15 kill quest on her I took out Piper and I immediately upgraded her to power 5. In my very first game, I connected a lot of shots and that allowed me to get 4 kills almost immediately. In the next one, I was also cooking and net another 4 kills as well. In one game, both Exotic and I were nice by a kid and it was a 1v2 for Hector against both the kid and the Larry and this is what happened. The other games also progressed similarly. In one, I got three kills. In another, I got two more. We swapped over to Brawl Ball, and in one of my games, I thought I had the ball, but I didn't, and I missed my super kick. A few minutes later, I got my Piper to 200 trophies with the help of both Hector and Exotic, as they really carried me on this map. Next, I took Jesse on Galaxy Arena, and the first game was pretty smooth, but the next one was terrible. We lost solely because of me. I just had a very bad read of the game and basically allowed the pre 
Primo to walk the ball in. And after that, both Hector and I left Primo to his own devices, which resulted in our streak ending again. My 300 game with Jesse also had me at my 10.5k trophy game. And since we were facing a Larry, I felt like it might have been difficult, but with Hector's rules and exotic supers, we packed that one up too. Rico has been a brawler that I've wanted to unlock in this account for a while. It's one of my favorite brawlers in the game, but since he's power one, I don't really expect all that much from him. It was mostly just Hector going ham on his spike and exotics rushes. I did have some great supers though, and in one game I even started chaining them. After thoroughly enjoying myself on the Rico, it had to come to an end, and I capped it off by a trick shot that I planned carefully by getting my super. And for my rewards today, I earned 1400 coins and 25 power points. Since I finally have some sharpshooters on day 40, I decided to start playing them a lot more. My goal was to get both B and Piper to 400 trophies each. Since Hector was on the twins, I was at ease since that meant the games should be easy, and for the most part, they were. It was basically just Hector abusing this brawler, while Exotic and I provided some support and cover. Merlin the Grom, that's a name I never thought would strike fear in my heart, but it did. He kept hammering us with his shots and his supers, and every single one of us just kept dying repeatedly. I honestly don't know how Hector managed to score, but that allowed us to survive long enough to force a counter offensive at overtime to win the game. And a couple minutes later, I was at my 400 trophy game, and it seemed like it would be difficult because we were facing a Cordelius and Larry, but honestly, that Cordelius did a stellar job of doing absolutely nothing, channeling his inner exotic for his team, and effectively gave us the dub. I took Piper next, and we swapped maps to out in the open, and I started off super strong, netting 5 kills in the first game itself. In the next one, I got 4 more. So it's safe to say that I was in the zone here. After a while, I did get bored a bit and I let this tick head kill exotic too. If the tick head comes out, I'm not going to help. I'm not going to help. I'm not going to help here because I just want to see him die. Yes, yes, he died. The 3 trophy game was also pretty simple and we did really great as a team. We faced a really strong Mandy in another game and the combination of her being decent and us not really working together ensured that we lost the game. While Hector and I were generally cooking, Exotic was doing exotic things. I really love playing sharpshooters and this time wasn't any different. Being able to tap the same opponent multiple times is super satisfying. My 400 trophy game on Piper wasn't gem grab and it really wasn't much to write about. What was nice though was me getting a beach brock skin from the Lunar Legendary Star Drop and 100 credits that'll put me closer to unlocking max. So sometimes you have those off days and you don't feel like doing anything really and this was one of those days. I just sat back, relaxed, watched some Jujutsu Kaisen in one piece and you know just basically chilled the entire day. I did play some Brawl Stars and got 11,000 trophies but I didn't record it. On the final day of week 6, I wanted to slow down the pace a bit more. So my goal for finishing off this week is to get to 11.2k trophies. I took Rico out on Bell's Rock since he's a pretty decent brawler there. Uncharacteristically exotic, started off strong. And we all know I'm capping. My guy went 0-2 in the very first game. And in the next one, I went 0-0 as well. Honestly, with us rocking the twins, it was sort of a whole W situation as we just kept running it down. My 200 trophy game didn't change that as Hector carried so hard once more. Next, I brought Leon to the backyard and Hector was informed with the Mortis, copping 8 kills while Exotic got a staggering 0. In another game, I was cooking and I got a lot of kills, but the enemy Frank had way too much HP and the Larry was at least able to hold control. We had moments where we got team wipes, but we weren't in any position to score. But the biggest issue here was that we didn't have any wall break, and that spelled doom for us as we ended up losing this game. We swapped over to gem grab since we had some quests there, and with Hector and I running assassins, the logical mid would be exotic on the bell, right? But he refused to play mid and kept avoiding gems at all costs, and his reasoning was that since he's squishy, he's gonna die with all the gems. I have no idea what I did in life to deserve a teammate like him. To finish off the week, I logged on to 8-bit, and since we were on bridge too far, it didn't seem like a bad idea, but I knew we might face brawlers that could counter me pretty hard, and almost comically, we went up against a Grom and a hypercharged Colette. I had to find any opportunity to reasonably get safe damage without losing control too much, and set up turrets for my teammate so they wouldn't get overwhelmed, but facing a Grom meant that it wouldn't last long. After conceding a lot of safe damage, we managed to claw our way back into the game, and and somehow, the game went down to the wire, and honestly, I thought we lost it. But it was actually a draw because of Hector. 
In contrast, my 11.2k trophy game wasn't as exciting as we were facing double tanks and after swiftly copying the dub, I collected my rewards, which were lackluster, but I did get 100 credits and that inches me closer towards the max. It's still a long road ahead in this journey, but I can take solace in the fact that this week I gained about 2200 trophies and unlocked Piper and Rico. If you missed the last episode, you can check it out here. And remember to use code PEN in the Brawl Stars shop.